It was a brief court appearance today for Huawei's chief financial officer. Meng Wanzhou was arrested in December at Vancouver's airport at the request of U.S. authorities for allegedly violating U.S. sanctions against Iran. Her case has infuriated China, and her lawyers say they'll raise issues of abusive process, privacy, and charter rights. She's also suing the RCMP and border services. Meng's next court date is May 8th. Huawei says Meng's arrest shows the tech giant is being unfairly targeted. It's on the offensive, defending its reputation and courting public opinion. Our Sasha Petrasek got a rare tour inside its headquarters. Take a train ride through Huawei's newest research base, as its employees do, and it's easy to get lost amid Bavarian castles and placid ponds, a fantasy world designed before the U.S. threat to destroy China's highest tech star. Huawei, from its idyllic home base here in southern China, now finds itself at the center of this storm, a controversy it says it didn't expect, fighting legal and political accusations it insists are unfounded. And opening doors to facilities that used to remain out of reporters' reach. In the past, a request from the CBC wouldn't have gotten us into the labs where new cooling systems are tested. Certainly not into the room full of servers where Huawei's cybersecurity team takes on hackers and promises to protect your privacy. We will have you over here. In a rare interview, Senior Vice President Catherine Chen says she doesn't understand the U.S. campaign to keep Huawei's leading 5G internet technology out of global networks. So why are they so afraid of you? <laughs> One U.S. fear is that somewhere in Huawei's production lines, it is building back doors to let the Chinese government snoop. And the Chinese law requires Huawei to pass along foreign secrets. Not so, says Chen. Still, among the high-tech companies revolving around China's digital capital, Shenzhen, Huawei plays the biggest role in China's growing nationalism. It's been honored by school children in a video that went viral. We're taught to love our motherland, they sing, just like we love our homegrown phone, Huawei. This is not a company ad. No wonder the arrest of Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou in Canada struck a nerve here, especially among old friends like Chen at company headquarters. When she was arrested, were you surprised? That's a very different position from the Chinese government's, which has accused Ottawa of acting unfairly. But then Huawei still plans on doing business in Canada, sprinkling Canadian rooftops with its 5G antennas, just like here. Sasha Petrasek, CBC News, Shenzhen.